Hey guys, and welcome back to another awesome World of Tanks replay. Today we are on the southern side of Miravanka. Uh, this map I do enjoy at times, uh, even though earlier I had a game where artillery took off over 1800 of my 1900 hit points. Uh, and I was at the F8 position on the little hill there. Um, you know, being on the front lines, I'm clearly camping, so it's cool that I get hit for literally over 90% of my health. That's, that's cool. But anyway, so I was heading over to that flank, saw that it was very few of us that were actually going to be there, and that there was very little support, so I told Bloop that I was leaving. Uh, and, and pretty much told him to have fun over there. Uh, he wanted to stay on that flank, which I guess is fine. Like, if you win that flank, it's great, but if you don't, it's really bad. So, yeah. If you want to see, uh, on Bloop's channel, he has a video. It's the same replay, except using both of our perspectives. And there's music in the background that's, like, pretty much... Um, like, uh, not on par, but, um, it's not the right word, like, uh, it goes very well with the replay, I guess that's a decent way to say it. Um, so right now we're just try sniping it up, uh, Bloop lost a ton of health over there, uh, so we're just kind of trying to help him, uh, we're trying to protect him any way we can. So I see this IS-3, he's moving in, and it looks like he's trying to get some shots at Bloop, so I'm saying, oh no, you're getting punished. You're not doing that for free. And um, we get a high roll, which is pretty cool. So right now, all I'm doing is just looking for any target I can shoot. Uh, I probably could have been up further shooting at uh, the heavies that are there. Uh, especially with my gold rounds, because the heat rounds uh, on the on most tanks go uh, very well against uh, E100 like turret fronts. And I'm not afraid to fire heat rounds because I'm not one of those people who thinks gold is a cheat, because it's not. So me and Blue completely gank this uh, AMX 1357. I get the kill. And uh, now we are... Oh, great, I gotta turn off the game chat again. Yay! Good game. Um, so we're just, we're just firing at whatever's spotted at the moment. Uh, Blue's about to finish off the E75. Yep, there it goes. Uh, I'm getting some really nice shots with this 907, which is always cool. I'm trying to help out the Ag Tiger, but I don't have enough DPM to even save him. So, you know, I'm doing what I can. So I'm just making sure that all my shots are fully aimed and uh, actually hit the target, which is very unlike me. I usually don't do that. I'm usually very uh, snappy with my shots. Which is probably horrible, but it's just what I do. So I'm kind of playing a bit carefully here. But it has been working, so maybe I'll do that more. You know, aiming. But, uh, yeah. So I see the the M4190 in the bat chat push through on the far southern flank. And Bloop also sees this, and he looks like he's going towards it. Uh, at the moment right now, I'm just, again, trying to get some good old snipes because that's all I really can do in this situation. If I go into town, I'm going to die because there are a bunch of medium tanks uh, sniping uh, on the J and K line. So I get a shot into the side of the 2 and 5B. It looks like I track him, uh, or maybe he just stopped moving, one of the two, and uh, he's eager to repair that and get out of there. I put a shot through the lower plate of the ST1, or STI, whatever you want to call it. I'm pretty sure it is a Roman numeral though. Um, but I just call it the STI, because why not? It sounds funnier. Because, you know, STI is sexually transmitted infection. Whatever. Not important at the moment. So, Bloop's getting some awesome shots from my left into the STI. Uh, this bad chat, man. He bounced two of my shots. Like, man, I don't know. That was the second shot I bounced off of him when I really, 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 really shouldn't have. Uh, bounced off of him, but uh, yeah, so ST1 popping out again, STI, whatever, I pretty much just go back and forth. I see Bloop's uh, 
alone against that uh, M4190. I don't think he's gonna have too many problems. He's a he's a very good player. He knows what he's doing. But um, you know, sometimes people can just press the two key and get through your upper plate really, really easily. So I was about to head over and help him, but it looks like he has it under control. So I used this new handy dandy handbrake turn uh, feature to turn a whole two degrees faster, um, which is always nice. And I tell Bloop not to die because he's pretty low, and I said I need him because, yeah, this is a fact. Now that I think about it, I don't think I take. Oh no, I think I might take like one hit in this game. Ignore that. Okay. Um. So this bad chat, I was like, no, you're no. So Bloop tells me to kill that, but I was already way ahead of that. The SDA two is uh, in the open, so of course I'm gonna do what every Russian tank does and just not aim at all, even though I told myself to aim and just snap the shot and win. Uh, so that was cool. Uh, the 215B, he's like very aggressive right now, which he really shouldn't be doing. Uh, especially since the E100 can out-trade him. Has, uh, is looking down on him. I don't know how that shot, like, did that. And uh, actually, I'll pause the replay so you can see where that penned. Look at that. Uh, yeah, what, what kind of... Mm, I disagree, whatever. So, uh, we're gonna keep going. So I'm being very aggressive against this 215B right now because I want to make sure that I can, uh, try to distract him for my team get some shots in. So Bleep got two in and the uh, E100 got one in. So I gotta shoot him there but I miss because I'm bad. And uh, I see the 215B popping out again. I'm still in the fixed camera. There we go. Um, so okay if you guys see where I'm aiming right now under the turret there's this little flat bit. It's kind of hard to see right now. But um, here's like the upper plate, and this is the part of the upper plate that comes back at uh, like to be side armor, I guess, if you think about it like that. And then here's the turret ring. The turret ring has a small flat slanted bit right here. You can see me aiming at it. And if I just uh, like increase the replay speed, that is a very very good place to pen um, uh, two and five Bs. It's actually a very, very uh, easy spot to go through. And uh, that's one of the major things that is uh, so bad about the 215B is that you really can't side scrape with it because anyone who knows the tank can just shoot that spot and pretty much insta pen every time. So I put it uh, in the um, in the platoon chat, I said Radley Walters, and uh, he said he's going for the artillery, which is good. And uh, funnily enough, he says Two Man Crucial Episode 2 140s. And uh, I was uh, telling him that the waffle should be on the A line uh, or around there because he got a shot into the Jagdpanzer. Bloop uh, suggests that he's probably with the 907, and which would be uh, around where I think he would be. But. He did get a shot at the Panzer, and I don't think he's going to be that cl up forward because the camo on the waffle is pretty bad. So I poke up and uh, see nothing. So right now I'm just communicating with Bloop, telling him everything that I know about the waffle and where he's at, or where I think he's at. We find the 907, I get lit, so I pull back because that 907 is in a pretty safe spot right now. So I tell him that I'm lit, because I am. Uh, I also am telling him that Artie just fired, but he, uh, in his replay, he saw that artillery fired anyway. And, uh, yep, he got the Artie, so that's good. So there's the Waffle. At this point, he was one, point, uh, one kill off of uh, the Radleys, and I see that he's firing HE. I was really worried about this M4190 because, you know, he just shot him. And I was really rushing to get the kill, because not, not to steal his Radleys or anything, but to uh, try to secure the crucial contribution, because I know that he probably cares more about the, uh, the Rad, I mean, the crucial contribution. So, there it is, I just shot the 907 blind, because he didn't move, and, uh, yeah, another two-man crucial contribution between me and Bloop. 
surprisingly enough is the same exact result that we had uh, last time except instead of me being eight uh, kills and him being four he's now eight and I'm four so I guess we're even but he also did 8.5 thousand damage this game or 8.6 something like that it was insane um, definitely go check out his channel he does a bunch of cool funny videos um, mine tend to be more like analytical well or not analytical but um, I guess like straightforward and matter of fact and I try to help you guys out uh, by learning like weak spots and stuff if I if I can like on that 215B uh, his are a lot more uh, comedy directed but they're still uh, they still do teach good things in uh, not basic forms but less advanced forms like it's hard to explain he doesn't say go here for these reasons he just says go here because it's a good spot you know anyway uh, you can go check out the videos for himself for yourself and uh, leave a like on this video if you liked it comment if you want to comment subscribe if you want to subscribe uh, it would be really cool and uh, dislike if you didn't like the video for some reason maybe you're just a hater maybe you're a Nazi I don't know uh, yeah I will see you guys in the next video uh, and see ya